Welcome to the Specialty Products Company installation and adjustment procedures for the adjustable upper ball joint. All listed part numbers are similar in installation procedure. We will illustrate installation of the ball joint using the 40920 performance ball joint press without removing the control arm from the vehicle. Make sure to follow common safety precautions when installing this product. After determining that correction is needed for camber, jack up vehicle and support securely. Remove alignment equipment and remove wheel assembly. Remove cover on ball joint nut if equipped. Remove cotter pin, then ball joint stud nut. Break ball joint taper by using a small puller or ball joint separator. Do not hammer on spindle. After securing the spindle out of the way, remove the ball joint dust boot. Some ball joints are secured in the arm with a snap ring that can be hard to see. Remove snap ring if equipped. Using the removal adapters in the ball joint press kit, mount the press and turn the screw until the ball joint pops loose. Remove the press and remove the stock ball joint from the arm. Some stock ball joints are installed using a glue type sealer. Scrape sealer from around arm if necessary. Install the slide plate onto the arm with the slot straight out towards the tire. The bottom slide plate is the only part that would be pressed into place. Use the installer adapters in the ball joint press kit to press the slide plate into place. Make sure that the plate is seated around the control arm flange. Part number 67125 through 67190 can be installed for positive or negative camber change. Part number 67320 through 67370 must be positioned for positive camber only. We will install this part number 67125 for positive camber change. Install the top slotted plate with the slot towards the tire. Now install the washer and top nut. Some ball joints will have a special recess clearance nut. Make sure the nut is installed properly on the washer. Test to make sure the slots in both plates are aligned by sliding the ball joint in and out. Now tighten the ball joint nut. Install ball joint tapered stud into the spindle. Tighten stud nut to specifications and install new cotter pin. Reinstall cover if equipped. Reinstall wheel, install alignment equipment, and recompensate if necessary. Adjusting the ball joint is made much easier by using the jack and hold or make elevated adjustments option on many alignment machines. Loosen the top nut and slide ball joint until desired camber change is achieved. Now torque top nut to 95 foot-pounds. All of these installation procedures can be found on the instruction sheet included in each box or by accessing our website at www.specprod.com.